Let's talk Tanya for the 23rd of ER of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we spoke about this all-consuming, fiery love that a person can have for God by contemplating God's greatness and the insignificance, the nothingness of all of creation to the point that a person has no selfish desire, doesn't even desire um, to experience God or to have a relationship with God over here in this world, wants nothing to do with this world and simply wants to be subsumed within God. This sounds amazing. The problem is, where does this love lead a person to? All of the other loves that we've spoken about up until this point, the the loves that were from the right side, what we called the loves that were compared to water, because they're drawing God down here. If I desire a connection and a relationship with God, so I'm going to go study Torah. I'm going to go do a mitzvah. And ultimately, that's my purpose over here in this world. But if I have this, you might want to call it annihilating, self-annihilating love for God, it's not leading me to actually make a difference. It's not leading me to do a mitzvah. So where does this love lead me to? And the Alter Rebbe acknowledges and says, yes, you are right. This love that we're talking about in this chapter does not naturally lead a person to learn Torah and do mitzvahs. It requires an active and conscious, so to say, changing of the gears and saying, enough, I've experienced that love, and now I need to focus on my mission over here in this world, which is doing what God wants, learning Torah, doing mitzvahs. The Alter Rebbe points to a passage in the Sefer Yitzira. Sefer Yitzira is an ancient Kabbalistic text written by none other than Avraham Avinu. And there's a famous passage there that says, Imrats libcha shuv echad which translates as, when your heart races, shuv echad, return to echad. Echad literally means oneness. What does that mean? Salter Rebbe explains, when your heart races, this is, what we were, this is what we described in yesterday's Tanya, your heart is racing with this incredible desire for God. Ruts, it desires, it's running. You're, you have no interest in this world. You just want to connect to God. Shuvla echad, you need to return to echad. What is echad? Echad means oneness. But we know when we talk about God, we also sometimes describe God as yachid. Yachid means the only one. Echad means one. We say Hashem echad. God is one. Wouldn't it be more accurate to describe God as yachid, the only one? What is the significance of echad? When we say the echad in the Shema, we're supposed to have in mind that echad is made up of three letters. The Aleph, which has a numerical value of one, which is a reference to God. Ches is eight, which is the seven heavens and the earth. Dalid is four, and that is the four corners of this earth. The point is, we need to draw down the Aleph, the oneness of God, into the world, into the space of our world, into the heavens and the earth and all the directions. And to God, that is more important than Yachid. If God wanted Yachid, he wanted to be the only one, he wouldn't have created anything. The reason why he created the world was because he desired to be echad. He wanted his oneness to be drawn into the multiplicity of the world. Imrat libcha, when your heart is racing and you're like, I don't want to have to do with this world. I want my soul to leave my body and to connect with God. What do we say? Remember, remember, shuv, return to the point. And what is the point? The point is echad. The point is to learn Torah and do mitzvahs over here in this world and to draw godliness here into this world. Dr. Rebbe says this is actually the deeper meaning of what we say on Friday night, kala, which literally means, come, my beloved, towards the kala, towards the bride. The Jewish people, we are the bride. We are God's bride. And the word kala is related to the word kala, which means to yearn, to desire. When we are in a state of kala, just yearning for God, we're sick of this world. We just want to go up and connect to God. What do we say to the kala? What do we say to the bride? Lechadoidi, lead the beloved. Bring the beloved down here into this world. Don't go to the beloved. Lechadoidi, bring God down here into this world. These two, you might want to say, opposite emotions. On the one hand, this incredible love for God, and on the other hand, returning to the reality of this world and what God wants of us is known in Chassidus as Ratsui and Shuv. Ratsui means desire, Shuv means returning, returning to the mission at hand. And both of these are very important, because you might ask, why do I need the Ratsui? What do I need the desire? If the point is Torah mitzvahs, I should just stick with the Shuv, stick to being in the world, learning Torah, doing mitzvahs, perhaps stick with all the different types of love we've spoken about in the previous chapters, 
which aren't don't have that self-annihilating aspect to it. But no, we need both of these. Because to be successful in this world, in studying Torah and doing mitzvahs, you need to have your sessions of Ratzah. You need to have those times when you contemplate the nothingness of the world and how everything is gone and how you have no desire for anything in this world. You know why? Because then when you get to the Shuv, when you get to that place of returning to the world on Torah and mitzvahs, you're not overwhelmed by the world. You're not intimidated by the world. Why? Because you just finished contemplating how the world is nothing. So these two are both very important. We need to have the Ratsi, we need to have this desire for God. And then we need to transition and turn to the Shuv. With this, we have concluded the topic of love. Love for God. The larger topic was Kavana. We started off talking about the awe of God. We moved into the love of God. And tomorrow we start chapter 51 and the last three chapters of Tanya. We're, we're in, we will take a deeper dive into the topic of Dira Betachtoinim the dwelling place for God here in this world, and how we create that through our doing mitzvahs.